Hello. Today we're going to go over some basic uh, startup and maintenance items that need to be addressed with the ChemGrout grout plant that we are currently using in operation. These are some basic things that need to happen every single day and I really would like everybody to take ownership and follow these simple steps. Thank you. So I was just going to make a short video to show you the ignition. Big red switch on key over wait for the lights to go off and then turn if it doesn't turn over you got to make sure that this throttle is out about a quarter to a half of an inch gap here and then to turn the machine off you go all the way in and hold it to kill it Something additional is this motor, that motor, and then the pump down here, the auger that spins, all runs off of a few relays. So if you look in here, there's a box. Okay, so this top relay vibrated out. The machine wouldn't turn on. This top relay runs the starter and the motor. These three relays right here run this pump or this spinning motor for the hopper, that spinning motor for the hopper, and then the pump down here if that's if you're having issues with motor stopping you check those three solenoids first that are located right about where my water bottle is in a black box and if there's those are all fine and doesn't smell burnt and they're all in good condition then on this side of the grout plant there's these two solenoids, this one and this one. There's a connector on both of them. If you turn the machine on, if the solenoids are good, there'll be a red light right here. If they're not good, there'll be no red light and you'll be able to spin these freely. These are a magnetic solenoid. These are just little things I wanted to make a short video for somebody's knowledge. Well, I just wanted to make a short video to show something that has to happen every single day when we are grouting. This is, this is something that needs to happen beginning of the shift before we start grouting. If we shut down at lunch, and if we don't shut down at lunch, it needs to be greased still and at the end of every shift when you're done cleaning out. On all the grout machines, there's a greaser on either side of this this housing that has to be greased inside of here is a grease packer so this is pushing in on a rubber gasket that holds a grease seal if it doesn't happen the, the concrete will start migrating back towards the shaft and damaging and giving way more resistance than the shaft can handle causing it not to spin so right here we'll pump grease in here and the way you know that there's grease at the beginning and end of every shift is you'll see it inside of the shaft or inside of your hopper right here. You see the, the wet grease and this is keeping the grease as a seal so your grout stays in your hopper and doesn't leave the hopper. When you don't do this every single day, you'll see on this grout machine Here's the exact same greaser. Here's the same housing. And it's a solid block of concrete because this has never received grease one time. And this is just something we have to be better on and we have to do no matter what, every single time this grout plant is in operation. So I want to make a short video to show the proper cleaning operations at the end of the, every shift of the grout plant. So you've already ran water through your mixers 
ran water through your hopper, your water's coming out clean, and now it's, it's time to clean the inside of your hopper. You wanna make sure you come over here, and your key is off, and your master is off, there's no power. You'll come over here, you'll lift your grate up out of the way, and then underneath here, there's a gate with a knob on it. You open this knob, and then the bottom opens up. That has to be opened every single day when we're done grouting, no matter what. Once that's done, then you can look inside and use a wire brush or whatever you need, whatever you have that's available. And then you flush this with water all the way around each side of these spools and spindles. Because if you don't, the grout will build up in there and build up. And then this is what happens. It builds up to the point where your drive shaft and your screw can no longer spin because there's so much concrete buildup. So that's one of the very important things that has to happen every single day. Every time the sprout goes through this machine, at the end of the day, that has to be open and has to be open. Another short clip I just want to show you on the lift gates for the grouting. Every day when we go to start this and we put water inside of the hoppers, we'll know if this is sealing because if, we're, if there's water dripping from the bottom of this and your gate's closed, we have a problem. So if you see water before you ever mix grout, you need to stop and adjust these three bolts. You can you go in and out. So if the top is smushed and there's a gap at the bottom causing the water to go down, this may need to be loosened, and these two need to be tightened in order to seal against. You can show on this one here, the rubber gasket. And so that's just something very important to do because if it's leaking water and you go to mix grout, and the water could be dripping out, contaminating the already mixed grout in the hopper, and we don't want that to happen. Thank you. Another quick video looking at the controls. This runs your right hopper. This runs your screw pump down below. That pumps the grout out. This runs your left hopper. This control runs your water pump that's connected on the other side. Slow, fast. Usually you can leave it down slow so you're not warming the hydraulic hydraulics up this lever for your pump down is pump up is reverse it'll so if you're pressuring up you can reverse it and suck the pressure off your line so see this this is called a pig or a line sweeper make sure the lines wet Put this inside of the hose, it's a tight fit, you gotta pop it in with your finger, connect it back up to this. This is something that's good to do every day, every time you clean out your lower hopper. We're gonna pump it out.
So as you can see, when that ball came out, you can see all the additional dirty water that the ball just, or the pig wiped the inside of that hose clean. And if that doesn't happen multiple times a day, you accumulate all the little bit of cement on the insides of that pipe, which eventually will build upon itself and then flake off and you'll get clogs and all sorts of problems when you're pumping through small orifices.